Good to the eyes and welcome to the internet. So today I wanted to do something a little different than what I do normally on my channel, which is do a perform perform perform. <laughs> uh. Take two. Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to the internet. So today I wanted to do something a little different for you guys than I normally do here on my channel, and I wanted to do a perfume review for you guys of some perfume samples that I recently got sent from the brand Lolly, Lily Q, Lolly Q. That's the brand. Um, I got sent four perfume samples from them, and I was kind of playing around with them and smelling them all, and just kind of wanted to give you guys like a first impression-y review on what I thought of them. So yes, like I said, I got sent four samples from them. Uh, one red, one white, one blue, no, one red, one white, one purple, and one black. So all of these have different notes, different kind of scent structures, and things like that. So we'll kind of go through each of them one by one, and then let you know at the end which one is my favorite. So yeah, so starting off with this first one, this is the red bottle. This is what it looks like, well, the packaging, like, that they sent me at least of it. And this is this the scent called, I know I'm going to say these wrong, <laughs> Azali? Azali. I'm going to go with that. Um, but yeah, this is, like I said, the packaging of it. And this one, the sample that it looked like that it came with was this one, which actually was kind of interesting to me because this one has a very different kind of, like, sample spray. Because if you look, it looks like it just would have the normal, like, spritz thing on it. But actually, you take the top off and it's like, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's like a dotter. Like, you, like, press it onto your skin, like, kind of, like, dotting it on. Um, so yeah, that was kind of cool. It was different than any other perfume sample I've gotten before. And this one is interesting. I do like this one out of the four. It's not my absolute favorite, but it is a pretty interesting scent. It, this one is, let's see, how do they describe it? This one is, um, a cypri and fruity fragrance, ch cypri, uh, harmonious, harmoniously blends passion and delicacy. So this one has notes of freesia, peach, rose, jasmine, patchouli, I think, and amber. Um, so in case I can't pronounce any of those words, that is what they say. Um, so yeah, this one, I can definitely smell the peach. I can definitely smell the jasmine in it. It's a really kind of like... I see this one's more of like a fun scent. Like it's definitely like, it doesn't smell grown up or like old. So I like that, that it kind of has that sweet after smell to it. Definitely fruity, definitely florally. So yeah, I really like this one. So this one was definitely one of my favorites. All right, getting into the next one that I got. This one was the uh, per Perils, per Perales de La Liqui. God, I know I'm... Uh, Please let me know in the comments below how to say some of these names because I know I'm butchering them like crazy. Um, so this is the white one that they sent me. And this one, in case you wanted to know, this one actually includes a picture of what the actual bottle looks like. So that is what it looks like. And this one is described as um, an ode to eternal femininity staging outrageously the most beautiful raw materials. So this one has Bulgarian rose, Bourbon pepper, orris, patchouli leaves, and cashmere wood. So this one was, let me grab it, make sure I get the right one. This one, this is what it came in. Very standard kind of perfume sample with a little spritzer bottle on the top. And yeah, so this one, let me. Okay, so this one was not my favorite. So this one kind of had that old lady smell to it. Yeah, it kind of has a really weird, like, after smell, too. Like, when you spray it on at first, it kind of, I don't know. I don't like the smell of this one because the after smell of it, like, lingers, and it kind of has, like, an old lady smell to it, and I'm not, like, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one, to be totally honest. I think it's more of, like, the earthy rawness of it, I guess, that kind of makes me, like, not super love it. So, yeah, not a super huge fan of that one. That's probably, I think, one of my least favorite of the four. Okay, but moving right along to the next one that I got. This is the black one, and this is, again, they include a picture, which I totally love. This is the black one of the packaging. 
Sorry if you kind of can see a glare. Um, but this one is, I think, more of their, like, sexy scent. Yeah, so this one is a woodsy, floral, musky eau de perfume for exquisite femininity with a wonderful and sensual scent. So, yeah, I think this one's tended to be more of their, like, sexy smell because this one has grains of indigenous amber, freesia, Turkish rose, words I don't know, omasis, um, capithis, vetiver, and musks. Words I can't explain, so once again, I'll show you if you know how to read things like this better than I do. Again, sorry about the glare. But yeah, like I said, this one I think is geared to be more of their sexy perfume, but again, this is what the packaging of it looks like. Again, very basic black kind of spritzer, and let's see, I'm trying to find different places to spray this stuff. Okay. So yeah, this one's definitely got more of like a sexy smell to it. It definitely, yeah, it has definitely more of that like traditional like sexy smell that I think of when I think of like sensual perfumes. Like it has like the rose and it has like that freesia amber -y kind of smell to it. Yeah, and it kind of veers slightly towards old ladyish. Like it kind of has that smell to it because I feel like I've smelled other perfumes that have the same kind of notes to it, so it kind of smells similar to ones I've smelled before. So again, it's not my super favorite. I definitely like it more than the white one that I was mentioning before. It's definitely probably in like the third place of ones that I liked of their perfume. Uh, I dropped it. But yeah, this one, um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's not. It's definitely better than the white one for sure. So if you want more of like a sexy rose smelling one, I would suggest this one for you. Okay, and then. Lastly, and this one is my favorite actually, so I did save the best for last in my opinion. This one is the purple bottle from them, and this is in the one I actually know how to pronounce, Amethyst. So this is this one that it looks like, and I absolutely love the packaging of this bottle. Oh my goodness, like the flowery detail. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. So, yes, this one is described as a, a fruity, floral, musky fragrance for a natural, radiant, and sensual woman. It has blackberry leaves, wild rose, lily, lily, lang, sensual wood, vanilla, and musk. So, I kind of think I like this one the best, partly because I know how to pronounce all the words and I know exactly what's in it. So, yeah, this one I definitely really liked. And, again, the spritzer bottle was very traditional, kind of just spray bottle. And this one, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I love it. It smells super florally and like fruity and just like, I don't know. There's just like the lingering afternotes of it smells like very fruity and I just, oh, I love it. It definitely has a very like fun smell to it. Like it doesn't smell too old. It doesn't smell too like grown up and I just really like it to be totally honest. It just, I don't know. There's just something about this one that it's kind of my new favorite smell. So I've been wearing this one, as you guys can tell, like this one compared to the rest of them, I've clearly used up a lot more of this one than like any of the other ones so yeah gotta give these two actually this one and the red one the azul one or lazy or uh, you know what I mean the first one and the last one I think are definitely my two favorites because they just have a little bit more of like a unique flirty fruity scent which is usually my favorite smells to wear so yeah good job la la qui Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names. I know I don't have the tongue for certain languages and, you know, things like that. So, yes. If you guys do want to try any of these out, please do what I usually do and email the companies down below if you want to smell these products for yourself. Or if you merely want to go off my own judgment, then feel free to list, go to their website. I will link it down below. The company was super generous in sending this to me. They're not sponsoring me in any way at all. I literally just was wanting to try out their stuff because I heard really good things about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I'll leave the details of each of the smells and everything down below with the notes and the prices and things like that. So you guys can see more about it down below in the description box. Words speaking too fast. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my face, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.